Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Na, and today I am playing some more Sims 4 Seasons. She has come to stay at Salem's place. She figured since it's close to the weekend, she'll pull like a long weekend and spend some time together as there are some plans of moving in together. Though it's still in the near future, it's not something she's considering like right now. Despite that she really wants to be close with him, there's also this aspect of, you know, moving to each other's house, having sleepovers that really kind of suits her. It, it really feel it really feels it really feels what? It feels natural to her to come over and sleep at each other's place instead of just moving straight in with each other. But he doesn't seem really sure about Cassie sleeping on the couch and she's kind of like I think she's feeling a little uncomfortable thinking, well, my owner is sleeping on the couch, that's unusual, she's never really done that, and what the heck, what is this place, where am I at now? Cassie brought her beloved Betty as, you know, she couldn't really leave her there for the weekend and uh, she just woke up feeling really, really cold and she actually has um, throw up and that is something she's been doing for the past weeks now. Feeling when you throw up, which is not a good feeling, and you just I just feel disgusting. So she's gonna just take uh, a quick little shower and I'm kind of pray to herself that it's gonna go over because um, she's at Salem's place. She can't afford to be sick at Salem's place, though she's also kind of worried that he might think of it and she's like, I can't have this dude thinking that there's something wrong with me. Cassie's not one to really put her problems out there and talk about them anyway. Well, this has been quite a while and she's considering either to go see a doctor or maybe ask Savannah for advice. There is, of course, that other unspoken thing that could very well be happening, but I don't think she's really gonna go there and um, think about it too much because she's obviously not really convinced of anything like that. So before we went on, um, after our party, Sam left to go home and um, he invited us over and Cassie said, of course, yes, sure, we'll come and stay a weekend with you. It'll be fun, kind of relaxing. Uh, a chance for us to actually be together. It's gonna be fun, you know Kind of side-eyeing thinking well I hope it's going to be fun because I've never actually you know lived together with anyone and if we can't do this Then I don't think we can do the real job. So now that she's kind of brushing her teeth thinking about <laughs> oh last night we brought the um leftovers uh, before we left we brought the leftovers to our neighbors kind of thinking well maybe that's uh like a good sign to come maybe we can kind of make up with our neighbors salem is waking up we can kind of um it's gonna have um mm -mm, what is he actually he's gonna do something himself he is going to make scrambled eggs with bacon uh cassie i don't know what cassie's wearing but apparently she's really cold <laughs> Uh, she was kind of like, she brought the leftovers of the cookies because it was just way too much. She brought them over to her neighbors, you know, the one that everyone just kind of like, mm, they're all fighting, always, always fighting. However, when she got there, the first thing they kind of was like, well, it's kind of odd for you to bring cookies, but thank you. I do kind of appreciate that. And the kids love the cookies, so everything's fine. They kind of chatted for a few minutes, and of course, the wife had to just make some sort of comment, right? And it took one look at Cassie and was like, girl, you gained some weight. And that did not sit well with Cassie. One, because she took a, like a lot of hard work and pride in getting the body that she has now like she worked out she gained so much muscle she became so lean and working out was just like an inspiration for herself but also for others because she still is even though she's no longer in the social media career she still has her own little blog well not blog she has her own social media that she uses to promote herself oh my god salem cannot cook for the life of him uh no worries salem i'm almost going to teach you Cassie just doesn't have, um, oh my god, Betty, please leave his, leave his couch alone. She doesn't have the, um, she has the social media to promote her own music as she's going to go, she's going to give her own concerts and make her own music, that kind of thing. So she does have something. So because she is in a spotlight, she wants to give a healthy message to children, which is to always love yourself and work out and be strong and like that kind of message, right? Do what you want and don't give a 
crap about other people say. A uh, little thing, um, a little bit about uh, Salem here. <laughs> Let's ask him about his day and um, sit down. I'm hoping he can't smell the vomit that's kind of stained on the <laughs> my lips. <laughs> hey Salem, why don't you give my crusty old vomit lips a kiss? <laughs> it's a little bit weird as well. We slept on the couch because... I don't know, it just didn't feel right yet to sleep in the same bed. Cassie's just kind of weird and, I don't know, not weird, but she's very conservative about that, I guess. Uh, she doesn't really, it doesn't really sleep with anyone either, like she just kind of, there's more to herself, I don't know what it is, you know, everyone has a kind of girl like that, and there's nothing wrong with that, it's perfectly fine. Salem is about to go to work, and um, we're just gonna have him do his own thing. Cassie is way too... <laughs> way too busy with cleaning his apartment one of the things she's already noticing is that he has a lot of mess in his house and it's just not okay she's definitely going to um kind of complain about this uh once he gets back home because this is just not acceptable he um uh how do i put it this is i i wouldn't say this is like a really just dude behavior because i honestly don't know but if there was any form of stereotype male behavior, Salem has it. He really is living the bachelor life with just leaving his trash everywhere and food stinking. He's eating leftovers and yeah, we're going to have to change that because we are so flipping clean. We're going to clean his whole flipping apartment when he's off to work and I hope he's going to appreciate that because <laughs> between the vomiting and, um, you know, your grimy ass apartment, uh... You better show me some love. Now that Salem is off to work, we are going to just, um, I don't know, clean. I think we need to clean up the apartment. I think that uh, I, I just need to. I just need to clean. I don't feel good about myself if I don't clean. I wish there was like some sort of, um, you know, some sort of interaction which could clean the entire apartment, but I guess there's not. Also, I need to just something because I can't see the we're almost done cleaning the apartment and once again i feel so sick i dropped the trash on the floor i'm just pretty much well this would be running if running was a thing <laughs> running to the flipping bathroom i am feeling so sick and i'm just literally so sick and tired of this i am going to just clean up the mess that i left and i'll clean the toilet in just a second i'm just like i'm just like so over this I am honestly freezing, I don't feel good, I am bloated, I, I definitely can see the weight gain, okay, but I'm just like not sure, like why, why am I so, like so fat, I'm not fat, but I'm bigger, so, you know, because I'm kind of, you know, um, okay, hold up, Salem is so bored covering the local news, are the readers as bored as he is? He can either start adding sensational details to make his stuff seem juicier or stick to his just the facts reporting. I think Salem is just kind of like the type that would just stick to the facts because he's just true to the facts pretty much. Okay. As I was saying, she's definitely not fat fat, but I feel like she feels fat. You know, every woman at one point is just like, oh my god, I'm so fat. And that's the kind of thing she's going through now, especially after her flipping neighbors. She's also cooking up some uh, breakfast, I think, or perhaps she's cooking lunch. No, she's actually making a salad, something healthy for when it comes back home, very nice. And I know you want to eat it yourself, but um, I think we should stick to something lighter now, uh, like like a like a carrot. I don't know if that's light enough, but just something that's not exactly you know revolting. That would help a lot. And did we clean? No, we didn't. Clean. You better clean this flipping toilet, okay? So uh, one of the things that I have been thinking about is asking my friend asking savannah kind of like what she thinks but i could also just like open up the flipping phone and go ahead and just just browse on the internet if i can find where the internet is on my phone because i don't use my phone for that kind of thing very often um browse the web and i'll also send a text to my friend kind of 
you know, just letting her know, like, I haven't been feeling well for a long time, and I keep throwing up, and I'm bigger, and all, 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 all these things, pretty much. It's like the only thing she can really do to kind of set her mind to things, but oh my god. I really should just do a pregnancy test. That would be the best way to figure things out, but I'm honestly too chicken out at this point to just do one. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I have never been at this point. I don't want to have a baby. I'm not ready for one. Being a mother just scares me and doing it alone is just like, I, I, I can't right now. Uh, apparently, I'm getting the salad out, but I, uh, I tend to... I, I I seem to have forgotten that I made this for Salem enough for myself. <laughs> let's put this um, let's put this back in the fridge, shall we? Uh, Betty is here to comfort me. Oh, comfort me! Come on, let's, let's brush a little bit, maybe a little hug, while we figure out our things. We have a little bit of time before Salem comes back home, so everything should be fine. Savannah called Cassie and was pretty much straight up asking her, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Did you check? Are you pregnant? Because she is convinced that these are all the signs of a pregnancy and Cassie's like trying to suss her out saying, girl, you tripping. I am not pregnant. I may have all the signs, but I'm not pregnant. I swear to you, I'm not pregnant. And um, at this point, she really has to do a test. Now, I can't really do a test right now because apparently that's not what uh, I can't. But... Um, so I'm gonna, gonna uh, la, 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 la. I'm gonna go ahead and just purchase a pregnancy test and come back home. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to the doctor and get a pregnancy test, and then when I come back home, we'll know for sure. Salem has come back home and he's feeling really, really stressed. So I'm gonna have him nap on the couch. Um, he's probably gonna go and have an early night. Actually, why don't we have him just go straight to sleep? He uh, seems rather tired from his work and it must have been a really tiresome day at the job. I mean, considering it's only like what? Sitting and writing, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Cassie has come back from the doctors and um, yeah. <laughs> Bad news in paradise. Cassie is indeed pregos and um... That is really, really disheartening to hear and she's absolutely devastating. It was really hard to pretend just, you know, that she was happy with it when they announced that on the, you know, in the hospital and um, she kind of just brushed it up and said, yeah, yeah, just, you know, it's a little unexpected. She doesn't even want to come back home. She just stood in the hall and was like, I, I can't do it. I can't come back home. She was talking to her best friend and, and she's kind of sending a text and she's gonna text Miko as well kind of almost in a panic just frantically trying to figure out what to do she can't even get herself to come back and she just kind of stops here and she's like oh no like what do I do what do I do uh, so we're gonna have her indeed come back home but she's gonna quickly figure out that Salem is asleep so she has nothing to worry about oh Miko is oh, Miko is asking her to come over just to come back home. It's just it's just I just can't do it. I'm really happy that Miko is such a mature and uh, hearted, kind hearted and warm and loving friend and she's a little older than we are and she already has kids. So I, if there's anyone that knows what to do, I think it's going to be Miko. Uh, I might as well just well I know I, I'm like so like, what's the word? I'm just so frantic and just disoriented. I don't even know what to do. Like, the kids are just eating. I'm just going to sit here and kind of stare in front of me and just be like, I, I don't know what to do. I feel hungry, but I don't feel hungry. I'm just going to sit here and, and, and sit there. I don't, I don't know what to do. Miko's fighting with the pain at the moment. Um, I don't really know what she had planned for us when she said, come over and I'll make you feel better. But I guess she might have thought that... Seeing her and the kids might make me feel a little better. I don't, I'm not really sure about that. I have no flipping, flipping clue what to do with my life right now. You know, Miko's asking her, like, are you really, are you really sure? Like, like, do you think it's possible that it's not? You know, do you think you're just sick? And she's like, no, I, I went to the hospital. They took my blood. They, <laughs> they made me pee in a stick. I know it. I know it's true. It's real. It's 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 real. Like there's just no other way. It's real. It's as real as it can possibly be. And I don't know what to do. At this point, Miko's just kind of telling her, you know, girl, like 
you have to do what you have to do, but are you sure you know who the baby daddy is? And she's like, yeah, I'm 100% sure that it's not Salem and I don't know what to do. And Miku's saying, well, that's obviously tough, but you have more than one choice. You don't have to keep the baby. You don't have to raise it. The main thing is, is that you do what you feel comfortable. And if, if Salem really loves you, he should be able to forgive you for being pregnant during, you know, the time that you're now together. Because technically, you got pregnant before you were together and... It's, it just happens. Mistake happens. It's just just don't have another baby with them. <laughs> because like, guy is the worst baby daddy. I have three kids with him. He has two kids with someone else. Like, do not get involved with him. Do not have his baby. Do not have his baby. <laughs> just doesn't know anything, and he just thinks like it's his or whatever. Like, just just be careful. That's the advice Miko's giving. <laughs> Miko, I guess, is such good advice. He's like, yeah, bitch, yeah. Cassie at this point is just gonna go home because um, she doesn't want to raise more suspicious but um, suspicion honestly let's fill the bowl a little bit because um, I feel bad for these cats I love these cats they're all so fluffy they're so cute and so oh oh my god does that mean there's gonna be kittens K kitchen kitchen shoe pickles pickles cinnamon and gorbash oh okay let's go back home Cassie just got back home and she's feeling really tired um She's a little hesitant, but I am sure that she'll be, um, she'll, she, she can do that. She can do it. Salem, however, is very impatiently pacing and um, I, I'm feeling a little weird about this. Like, what is he doing? Why is he like this? He has the biggest flipping smile on his face. He's like side eyeing her. He's like, oh, you're going to tell me? You're going to tell me? Yeah, Salem knows. And how does Salem know exactly? Because Savannah told him. Savannah could not shut her mouth, and one way or another, she managed to tell him that Cassie might be pregnant. Which, Salem is over the moon because he thinks it's his. And this is where the drama starts, like giving her kiss on the cheek and saying, like, babe, like, are you, are you really pregnant? Like, are you really, like, we're gonna have a family? Like, I'm, like, you look great. We're gonna be amazing parents. Like, <laughs> He's already seeing his big family. He's always wanted a big family. He's such a family man. And um, he's like offering a massage, trying to be really, really nice. And Cassie obviously is just kind of like, oh no, you know. But like in her mind, she's thinking, but oh no, he thinks it's his. That's even worse. He thinks it's his baby. And now she's faced with an even tougher choice because he knows and he seems really exciting. Or he seems really excited about that and I can't tell him it's not his now and I can't get rid of it because it's gonna break his heart like what the hell am I gonna do I am so flipping confused I really need to make a decision soon and I just feel like I have no decision I have no choice I have to have the baby now which is just the worst thing ever oh my god Salem is going maybe a little overboard. He's already talking about a house and saying, oh no, we really need to move in together now. We need to raise these babies, how to have a family. We're gonna get married one day. And I guess he's like trying to remind him like, ho ho ho, dude. Like, ho ho, excuse me, what? We're gonna do, we're, we're, buddy. we're gonna do what exactly? And um, uh, I'm just trying to find, there we go. <laughs> You're, you're gonna do what exactly? No, we're not getting married. We're not living together. I This is just going way too fast. I don't think we should be together. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Let's change your outfit. Oh my god. She's flipping showing. He's like, how? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, you're obviously pregnant. Like, we need... We need, and she's like, no, we don't need to do anything right now. Like, they're having an argument about this. Everything was just so perfect, and uh, it, it's going to be hard on her because she can't possibly tell him why she's responding the way that she is. And I guess in a perfect world where he got her pregnant, maybe she would have moved in with him for that reason. But right now, she's just like, I can't. I just can't do it. She just, she just, 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 just going way too fast. She refuses to sleep with him as well. She's just like, I'm taking the couch, and... Um, Sam is like, no, you're not taking the couch. You can take the bed tonight, so I'll go sleep on the couch. At least he's respecting that wish of her, you know. He's like respecting that wish. Uh, he's feeling rather um, stressed out. He's still energized because he feels excited that he's, you know, going to have a baby. But um, at the same time, he's just like, 
like, why is she acting so weird? He's kind of blaming it on hormones, saying, okay, this must be part of the hormones. Like, what else? Why would else would she be responding like this? But Cassie is just like, I, I, I just, I just, I just know. I just, oh, I just, oh my god, I just know. We're gonna have her come into the bathroom, and once again, she needs to pee really bad. So we're gonna have her pee. Um, she's feeling. <laughs> Even more nausea because why not? Our tits definitely grew. I want to go ahead and put her in an outfit. Cassie's looking at herself in the mirror, thinking, "Oh my god, like this is what my body looks like right now. I am actually, I'm actually carrying a child, and I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do." Now there is a third life involved. There's just there's an actual flipping baby in here. And every choice that I make is going to affect not only our life, but this baby life. This life lives. This this life's life. There we go. And I just I just I don't know. I just I just don't I just don't feel good about this. This is like the most stressful thing ever. Oh my god. He wants the baby. He wants to keep the baby. He thinks it's his baby. She doesn't want to keep the baby, but now she has no choice because, like, what is she gonna do? Get rid of the baby that he thinks is his. That's gonna break his heart. <laughs> oh my God! What do you guys think we should do? Let me know down below. Cassie is really not enjoying herself right now. As you see, she's just feeling super crappy. She doesn't enjoy being pregnant. She, she didn't ask for this. She really isn't happy. Salem left. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He left. So he's just outside and she has a moment for herself. Now she got quite the um, almost, yeah, how would I say, confronting text to not even make, to make matters even worse. She got a text and um, not a text. Well, how to put it, she got an email or whatever, she got notified, let's put it like that, she got notified that her leash for her apartment is actually over and that she wasn't in time to renew it and because of that she will be forced to move out shortly which makes everything even worse because she wasn't ready for that. This means that she needs to move out and find herself a new place which is going to even be harder between being pregnant, having not enough money to move out and nowhere to go. Of course, Salem, if Salem knew this, he would offer to move in together. And Cassie is just kind of unsure what to do. She's just really pondering life right now over a bowl of cereal thinking, or is that applesauce? Looks more like applesauce. Really pondering life over a bowl of applesauce thinking, do I move in with him? Do I not move in with him? I mean, if I move in with him, at least I have a chance of raising his baby. She's just... Uh, I don't know. She's just. I think she may be making hasty mis hasty mistakes, hasty decisions right now based on how everything went last night and just frantic, um, like blown up emotions. But in some sort of heated moment of the whole entire situation, she may have kind of said, "Yeah, let's uh, let's let's do it. Let's move in together. Let's let's raise this baby together." <laughs> well she isn't sure if this is the right thing to do she really has no other choice now than to just accept her fate and get over with it and i'm really interested to see what you guys think about this because um like what do you guys think she should do with this baby like any option is open for me like i don't mind whatever you give to me um yeah whatever's gonna happen to this baby and to this family that is surely gonna cause some drama He's feeling really tense right now. He's still kind of, you know, mad about um, mad about last night. But hearing that she doesn't want to move in together does give him a little bit of a better mood. And he's like, oh, that's great. That's great. Let's think about buying our first house together. And that is where I'm going to end it. Because buying a house together was not what she meant when she said let's move together. She thought she could just move in in this place and that would just be enough do a little redecoration that would be enough to raise his baby sufficiently or at least enough time for her then to kind of you know get a better place by herself she really wants to build or make or get what she really wanted to buy a house for herself by herself for the first time and now <laughs> she can't because he's convinced he's like he thinks 
like they're moving together they're buying a house they're gonna raise a baby every plan that she possibly could have had has been destroyed well besides the one for boob job because her titties are growing like damn oh my god things are just crazy right now Anyway, I am going to end this part here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.